Hey, hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for May 2020. Cross Watcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Capricorn. Off camera to save time, I've performed a pr protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. We will be using an Archangel Power Tarot card by Radley Valentine. Your first card, it's a Ten of Swords. Air energy. Now this is the end of some period of trials and hardships, a painful ending, broken trust, worrying. This is maybe some backstabbing gossip has ended, but that's the sun coming up over the horizon over there. So I do expect to see the sun in one of your readings coming up in the future. Now this is a new cycle that's beginning, and from here on in it only gets better. You're making a clean break from past hurtful pain. Now there's nowhere to go but up. Maybe you felt you'd like you'd been a victim. But you can draw wisdom from defeat. It's picking yourself up and getting on with life. This is a lesson learned. It's no making the same mistakes twice. It's painful endings. It's broken trust. It's no it's something that can no longer be fixed. And you can now start manifesting a new beginning. It's the end of something, a relationship, a circumstance, or even a false way of seeing a situation. It rings of truth and clarity of vision, which brings about the inevitable death. And the dawn breaking gives promise of rebirth. It's clearing the ground for something new and allowing change rather than fighting it. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Okay, the Queen of Cups. This is water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Now you could have water in your chart, or this can represent someone else, male or female, that's in your reading. Water energy. This is someone that's emotional. They're loving. They're a dreamer. They're very empathetic. They can be psychic, very intuitive, have spiritual gifts. This is someone that's emotionally open to the king and brings balance. This is someone that's beautiful and fair and dreamy, and they contemplate a cup. One of their aspects is they can see visions in a cup, and they also act, and her activity feeds her dream. She's creative, with a very strong will, and that enables her to develop her talents. She draws inspiration from her own life and from the world around her, and she's capable of deep romantic love. She's emotional and tears up at the drop of a hat. Has a heart of gold, but does not always let other people see it. The Ten of Swords with the Queen of Cups is recovering from grief, even writing about your troubles. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number 14 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Temperance. Now this can represent a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Could be in your chart or someone else's. This has to do with adjustments and having to have patience and compromise. It's adapting to situations. It's using self-control and modification. It's working in harmony with others. It's compromise instead of battle and taking the middle path. It's never going to one extreme or the other and having control over your own life. What you have imagined will come to pass. This is alchemy, successful combinations being achieved, seeing both sides of the story and sharing control. It's adapting to situations with a clear mind and a calm heart yet it advises a cautious attitude to be moderate and take the middle way. Yet it also indicates victory over doubts and rigidities. There's a need to have patience for our events surrounding you as they play out. It's reflection on your life, maturity, drawing emotions in and stop overreacting to outside forces. 
It's contemplation and reflection on events, relationship, and work, and you can be the calming force in chaos. And now is a time it's possible to overcome addiction to substance, people, or relationships. It is an obsession passing, an order being restored. The Ten of Swords with a Temperance card is something or someone that brought out the worst in you. It's avoiding pleasure. It's not taking credit that led to the current misery. Your fourth card, it's the card of the future. It's the outcome, the results. The Seven of Pentacles, Capricorn, Earth Energy, someone's Saturn and Taurus. Now this is having to wait. It's having to have patience. Now that's the same as a temperance card is saying, and they are both sevens. Now this is assessment and patience, the pause during the development. It's a break. The harvest is still yet to come. It's reevaluation and stepping back and looking at what you've already accomplished. Could be anxiety about a loan or some waiting for some money to come in. And you're still waiting for success. It's a timeout card. But your investments will pay off in the future. You're questioning your standpoint and looking from a different perspective. It's the completion of a phase. And you're reevaluating. You're concerned and impatient for results, second-guessing your efforts. The Ten of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles is losing interest in something that used to mean a lot to you. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Queen of Pentacles Capricorn, this can be you, Taurus, Virgo, or you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is someone that's domestic, and they're practical and capable and orderly. They're generous and benevolent. They respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money they distribute or offer. This is someone that can offer security. They can be a mother or someone nurturing like a mother. This also indicates harvest after much labor and prudent uses of resources. This is someone that's protective and nurturing, resourceful. They're down to earth, they're fertile and healthy, they're a homemaker, a housekeeper. They love gardens and growing things. They love nature and animals, and they're affectionate and caring, and they know how to manage money. This could indicate help given of a practical nature. It has to do with material concerns. This is someone that puts a high value on stability. They teach us that what is cherished must be cared for. Someone may not show or say how they feel. The Ten of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles is self-defense techniques. It's overcoming betrayal by self-healing. It can also be the healing of back surgery. The Queen of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles is being calm and compassionate while you wait with perseverance. The Queen of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles is two people who understand each other's needs. It's sensing someone needs nurturing, and that's two queens in your reading, which represent sincere friends. The Queen of Cups with the Temperance card is emotional balance, a humanitarian. The Temperance card with the Seven of Pentacles is patience. Uh, this is stressed. And do not stress over it, your investment. You may be very impatient for results. And that's two sevens in a reading, which represents news. Temperance with the Queen of Pentacles is spending wisely, but not denying yourself the thing that you need or want. The Seven of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles is doing what is needed. It's setting the groundwork. It's fear of failure. It can also represent outdoor projects or work. Your Archangel Power Tarot card by Radley Valentine. The Page of Gabriel. Fire energy. The same as the Page of Wands. Energetic. Brave. Optimistic. Playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. The Page of Gabriel. 
You're, all, you're ready to follow your passion. Opportunities for excitement and adventure are headed your way. This is something that you're prepared for and have been hoping would happen. You may feel as though you're not quite ready, but you truly are. Get out there and show everyone how amazing you are. People, an energetic and extroverted person who is exuberant and willing to help. Someone who loves a challenge and brings youthful optimism to all he or she does. They're brave and charming and creative. They're optimistic, certain, active, playful. Additional meanings, career advancement, taking a chance, confidence, and embracing life. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.